out nice. It, it does pulverize, it loosens it up, makes it easier to be digging in there. So with these boxes, I like to go one, uh, one and a half to two blade widths wide. Give you enough room to wiggle that tree around, whether you need to straighten it or, or do move it if you're setting a line to move it back and forth. Um, and then to set the depth, I'll come in vertically and go to about this point meets, meets the saw line or the soil line to the top of the hole. And then I'm going to flatten it out, go to the back edge of the hole, and then just flip it, flip it to the back side. majority of the whole duck then you just work on cleaning your corners out set that depth and it's pretty much just flick this dirt out of here clean this corner out flick it back into the hole and just kind of cleaning up that hole so it's square it's got three fits in there good and clean up this square up that corner Good and straight, then we'll back fill it. Easier. 
then I can just come in a circle like this and keep working my way around. <clears throat> On that really clumpy stuff, would you go back around with the edger, chop it all up? You could do a final, um, a final cut around the edge. I can't imagine somebody in Madison would be like, "Oh, that looks great." So redo it. But we will be, right yeah, yeah, and we will be mulching topsoil or with the. You are you planning to use that biochar? Um, all your trees yeah. are just. Yeah, we would have put it in there already, guys. Yeah. Sorry, we were watching. That. <laughs> we can do that on the next one. We can top dress this. Yeah, yeah, or top dress if that works. Under the mulch, though. So. But yeah, ultimately, on someone's lawn, before we do that, Mask. you top dress with the <laughs> biochar. Then you mix it in with that. Right. And then it's all in your, yep. your backfill. Just sort of rake that in a little bit. Yeah, it'd be way better with that all in the. Oh yeah. Right before we in the back, soil. Though, I mean, you could. You yeah, could before you even dig, like you mix it in with the right, the trencher. All, yep. What else looks good? So is that what we're gonna do? Is three bags for each tree? Or? Is it? Is that what they do? Three bags? Well, that's what I'm asking. That's what he was saying. Two to three bags. Okay. With these bigger two cubic foot bags, we've been going to just two bags a tree, and that's, okay. that's enough. Unless you, for some reason, are in a, a old stump hole where you want to have it exaggerated all a little bit more to cover up that that mess that was made. But and I just start at the base, and again, just work in a circle, and it'll all wear itself out. So you were saying, so we're only doing like three or three bags a tree, or four? Or two. It? Two is fine. Fine. With two bags, but we got cubic a uh, foot and a half yeah, ones. So on those smaller bags, you could yeah three would do be. three. Yeah, but. but then here I'm taking it away from the, the base of the trunk again. Don't want that packed up against there, but your ideal depth what about four inch, two to four. Yeah, two to four. Um, Three inches right there, so that's it. Okay, we came out here on Arbor Day and we planted three swamp white oaks out in this area here. Terry's gonna be setting up deer protection around those, We're not taking any chances there. Uh, we're gonna plant witch hazels at the front entrance, those will be nice when they grow up big. Uh, we're gonna have a couple witch hazels out there just for a little screen under that box elder. Uh, Norway spruces across the back um, just to provide a good good screen. Uh, that'll be the non-native planting here, but uh, I think it fits <laughs> it fits the purpose. And then uh, a couple a witch hazel in this back corner where there's gonna be a bench. We got several uh, eight foot white oak slab benches that we're going to put out here um, and that'll be cool one back in the woods one by the big cottonwood three or four out here um, it'll be a nice area if people, staff members want to use it so game of trees we're having fun this is a awesome project to be part of Playing the game of trees